Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is actually a really impromptu video, which is actually why I'm wearing the same outfit as I was in my last vlog. Toby is an outfit repeater. -er. <laughs> but I just received an exciting delivery that I wanted to show you and so I thought I would kind of show you lots of house updates and deliveries as and when they come in or happen over the next week or so, kind of with work projects going on and leading up to selling our house. I just thought it would be nice to show you guys what I'm buying and what I'm working on. <laughs> okay, so I've just honestly received, I think the biggest delivery I have ever received from one brand. Um, this is from the Cruiser. I'm working with them on Instagram and basically I've received loads and loads of stuff in their new color. So it's actually one of the colours that I think and everyone else thinks is going to be really big this year. So it's a really lovely blue colour which I think looks perfect with like warmer colours and essentially the Le Creuset team did too. They thought kind of the cosy warm colours we have in the cottage would look lovely with their new blue colour. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. I've also ordered some new lighting which I'm looking forward to showing you. So wall lights, a two ceiling lights and then I'm also going to be wallpapering later this week, painting somewhere that's never been painted so not redecorating just decorating. So yeah lots of exciting things going on and I think the cottage if all goes well will be listed for sale in like two to three weeks now so yeah time is really really flying because when I think I last mentioned how long it'll be I think it was around six weeks so yeah it's only a couple of weeks later than that but I think we're gonna try and get it on the market a little bit earlier. Oh those are nice, wow love them. So the first thing is these utensils. So I'll try and show you everything as best I can. They're in the new colour which is azure blue. So yeah, really love those. They've got the wood detail underneath obviously. The next thing that I ordered was a butter dish because I did get a new butter dish a couple of weeks ago, which you may remember. It's this one, which is from Oliver Bonus. But someone told me that you always need to have two butter dishes so that when you are washing one of them, you have something else to put your butter in. So I thought it would be nice to have two to alternate and obviously going with the blue theme. I thought this one would be really nice and that was right. That's really lovely. I love the gradient that the Cruze do. This colour actually really reminds me of a, it was more like duck egg, but one that my mum had growing up and she still has today because obviously it is one of those brands that is, well, our Le Cruze in there, the white one. Oh, that looks so nice. I'll show you guys properly later in this video everything kind of laid out in the room. Um, but yeah, the Cruze is obviously one of those brands that it doesn't really go bad or go out of style it's very very timeless so you can obviously just keep adding to the collection which is nice <clears throat> without giving too much away as well i am planning <coughs> God. basically i've started planning our next kitchen even though i don't have a clue what it's going to look like i've started planning it and I am hoping to have some pops of blue in there. So it's going to be a bit moodier than our current kitchen, but still bright and lived in and relaxed and that kind of vibe, but not quite so white. Um, but some other areas in the house, I think, will be a bit more neutral. So it's going to be a nice mix. I've got that one for the utensils. So that's lovely. That actually looks really nice just there against the stone. Again, I will show you in a minute, I know it's too far away for you guys to see. Oh wow, those are cute. Those are really nice. So there's some blue storage jars, so I was thinking those would be really nice for a pop of blue either on this shelf over here, um, and perfect for storing like dog treats in. Ziggy basically has to have a very special dog treats, so this obviously is a set of, set of two, so um, Ziggy could have one, we could label the bottom, and then Stormy could have one, so 
That's lovely. I'm trying to just put some stuff out as and when I get it because I do that thing so often where I will order something and I won't like display it or put it out for weeks and weeks, if not longer sometimes. So yeah, I'm trying to be a bit better on that front. <gasps> Right, I have been desperate for a big, big mug for a long time. And when I saw these grand mugs, I love when people do that on TikTok videos. <laughs> when I saw these large mugs, I really, really wanted a pair. So yeah, I'm really, really grateful to have those. Don't know if I'll put those on. Yeah, I will. Put them on the shelf. I actually need to probably swap out these ones now. I'm gonna put them in the cupboard because kind of like with cushions and everything else, I do like to rotate my crockery and stuff if I can seasonally or just the ones that I have on display. I'm not obviously gonna be buying all new every year, but we currently have two um, different like crockery ranges. So I think the Azure Blue by Le Creuset will be a new one that I start collecting. Which I think that's so nice because obviously for your birthday or for Christmas or something, you might get just one or two pieces to add to the collection. Like whether it's an egg cup, another pair of mugs or something new entirely. It's really nice because if you're having a year where you're maybe not spending so much money, you can just get one of those smaller things, or if you really are considering going all out, you could get a new cast iron casserole dish. So, yeah, oh, those are nice. So, a set of, I think a set of four plates. So they're all obviously the same, and they're the gradient. And I think these, yeah, they can go in the oven up to 260 degrees Celsius, so that's really good as well for reheating food. I don't know if this is just me or us, but we actually don't have any, um, we don't have a microwave in our house, so for us reheating food on plates is basically crucial. We couldn't live without having plates that do that, and our, for anyone who likes why obviously the cruiser do arrange like that but we also have some sophie conran plates which do the same thing so yeah that's ooh, that's really really handy just trying to stay on top of the recycling as i go but i can't believe i've been chatting for nearly 10 minutes already i'm not even halfway through so i may actually have to split this vlog into a couple. Maybe I'll do one that's um, things I bought this week or this month and just kind of go through everything as and when they come in. So yeah, maybe that'll be this video and then I'll do another one that's just house updates and like decorating updates, which will probably be the video you watch after this because I am getting started on some projects later today. <gasps> oh! Honestly, nothing, nothing ever will, I think, stormy. Guys, she's got sellotape from the delivery stuck to her. <laughs> She's trying to get it off. Um, yeah, I honestly don't think working with these kind of brands that I have forever loved will ever get old for me. And it feels like Christmas every time I receive a delivery and I get to create content for them to use on Instagram, TikTok, and I get to make content for myself as well. It just, I don't know, I know a lot of people don't like when you talk about that being a part of your job, but the reality is that is a part of my job and I am so grateful for it being it. And yeah, very, very grateful. Um, I actually have this in white already and I love it. I have it in pale blue as well, so that'll be really nice to kind of go with that. It's so nice having so much of the collection that it obviously, in this colour, that it will have a really strong kind of point of view in the kitchen and whether I decide to keep it all on display or if I decide to put it all in the cupboard so that when I open the cupboard, I'm like greeted with all the blue Le Creuset, I'm not sure, but I just love the colour and really, really happy to kind of have it, have it in the house. 
Ah, okay, so obviously I mentioned on here before, but I recently found out that I have a caffeine intolerance. So I have been having decaf. Someone recommended, I put it in the cupboard, but someone recommended a brand to me, but a lot of people told me to get a coffee press, which I have never, ever, ever had one. I have used one because my old work had one, but now I have one. <laughs> and so nice, again, that it matches and I can kind of spread this color all over the kitchen. I think that's gonna look really good on the shelf over there. A similar note, I have a Le Creuset Grand Teapot here. Now Mikey and I actually don't have tea that often. Well, I don't, Mikey has it more than me. I'm more of a coffee drinker, but I thought this would be really nice when we have guests over and also in our next house, thinking ahead, um, we're gonna hopefully have a bit of a bigger house, which means we can have guests to stay more often, which obviously means cozy brunches and stuff and yeah, doing nice big spreads for people the next morning. So I thought a tea pot would be perfect for that. I'm just kind of gathering this stuff over here so that I can place it all out a bit later today. Um, I got another utensil here. So this, I don't know if anyone has these. I use these all the time. I actually already have one from Le Creuset that I bought probably four or five years ago, but I find this one really, really handy for pastries and stuff or for doing like an egg wash. So that is very handy. Honestly, this is like a never ending delivery, but again, I'm super, super grateful for it. I'm looking forward to getting it all out. And you might have actually seen all of this collection already over on Instagram. So if you have, let me know what you think of it. I know that I have only ever had um, like white crockery and stuff in the kitchen. So I'm very much craving something different. Oh, those are nice. I've got some pasta bowls as well. So there's four of those, which is lovely. I'm hoping that I can actually, even if just for my content, I'm hoping that I can fill the shelf with the blue as your range, because I think that's gonna look really, really lovely and like spring and summery against the white background. And then probably for when we're like finishing living here, <laughs> which hopefully is only a few more months, I'm gonna do a mix, I think, of the blue and the white, just to give us a nice, pop of colour for the spring and summer. I've wanted one of these for the longest time. It is obviously a Le Creuset cast iron frying pan, which again, I thought would look really good just hanging on the wall there. You can probably see that one. Don't you think, sorry, I know I'm really in the way, but the blue looks really nice with the um, like colour of the stone in the kitchen. I just think that is such a nice pop of colour. It's definitely actually making me want to get some, a few more blue accents. And then the next one, I think possibly best till last, is a big cast iron casserole dish. I think this is one size bigger than the one I currently have. Actually, it could be the same size, you know. Let's see. So this one is 26, and my one that I use literally every day is 24, so one size bigger, which is nice. So I think that is everything, but a, a very big order. <laughs> but I hope you guys liked seeing some of those pieces and hopefully felt inspired by them. I'm gonna be cooking lots and lots of lovely recipes, and as I have already mentioned, obviously, I don't want anyone to think this is like, I'm not grateful for this because I really really am and these are items that I'm gonna keep forever It's something that I imagine cooking for my children with my parents Just for anyone who comes over and using day in day out like I do my existing the Crusoe pieces the white one I use constantly Let me actually just go over and show you kind of the color so you can see how they all work in the space 
Okay, so ignore the mess because I've obviously just plonked everything down, but hopefully you can see how nice the blue kind of just pops against the stone. And yeah, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. I'm obviously a bit of a neutral lover, but the pop of blue I think is just so nice. And I think when it's kind of over that shelf as well, I can imagine just kind of looking around the corner here and seeing all the blue, I think that's going to look so nice. So yeah, really, really excited to get that all out later today. Okay, so it's actually the same day, as you'll be able to tell, I'm not outfit repeating again. Um, but I've just received a couple more packages, actually three. Oh god, sometimes the feeling of cardboard, like really dry cardboard on my hands makes me feel sick. Does anyone else get that? Please let me know it's not just me. Um, so these are from Pookie, so I ordered these three days ago and they've arrived already, so very impressed with that. Annoyingly I had a discount code with Pookie, but I missed it myself. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted, so yeah, I just waited, but I got two, so I will only show you one, but these wall lights, which I'm planning on attaching in the dining area. And then I've ordered some pattern shades, which I thought would be really nice. And then, oh, let me see if I've got the shades in here. It seems like the shades, oh no, they are in here. Yeah, perfect. So for our bedroom, I've ordered an antique, I will link everything down below in this video as well, I'm trying to get better. So for our bedroom, we still don't have a ceiling light, so I obviously want to have one, especially when we're having house viewings and stuff. Um, I ordered this antique brass, you can see there, I won't unpackage it all. And I've also got this hook, so I'm going to attach that and then we'll use the hook to like I have in the kitchen to be able to give it a bit of extra height. If you didn't see that, you'll have to watch my last video um, to see how I did that. And then I've got this lampshade. It's just a really simple drum with this like cloud chevron pattern on. So I think that will look really nice and just add a bit of pattern to the room. And then for the wall lights, I got this pattern which I really really love I think that's really nice and yeah I'm hoping I might actually be able to get those up this afternoon and then I just need to order some light bulbs for all of those yeah so I will show you those probably in the next video that I mentioned where I update you on like different house projects and stuff but I'm hoping to get all of that done today so yeah we'll catch up with you guys in a bit Okay, so it's a day or so later. I'm gonna stand far back because as you'll be able to tell, I've just had a bath and it is 10 past nine in the evening. So I, yeah, I'm basically ready for bed. <coughs> I'm basically ready for bed. But as I'm obviously documenting everything I bought, I've just had a couple of packages. I say just, they came earlier today, but I have been so unwell today. If you follow me and see my stories over on Instagram, then you'll know I've kind of been saying that I've not been very well. I've just been really, really fluy and sick. I just don't know what's wrong with me, but carrying on, I'm trying to just get a bit of vlogging done, but this is the light for the like vestibule area. So it's a really simple, like black cord, so that's good. And then the shade, I think, is like a chocolatey, kind of just off black color. That's really nice, I love that. So it's just a really, really simple, really tapered shade. Oh gosh, look at me, I look a mess. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. And it's just gonna sit, not very um, low, just, in the kind of like vestibule hall area upstairs. So really happy with that. And then the next one that arrived was just, it opens. This was a um, delivery from m &S. So I actually bought this off the back of my 
reel that you might have seen. I couldn't decide which bedside table lamp I liked. And this is the one that I went for. So it's got a pleated shade. So you will have seen this in one of my other vlogs. Very safe about it. God, I'm honestly so worried that my dressing gown is gonna come flying off. It's not very secure. I actually need a new dressing gown recommendation. It's something that I, I mean, I'm really glad, not glad I didn't get it, but I asked for one for Christmas and um, Mikey got me so many other ones instead, but he didn't get me a dressing gown. So I'm actually wearing his because mine is so tatty. Um, I've had mine for about 10 years. So yeah, definitely need a new one. So if you know of any good ones, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I went for this M&S Again, please don't comment on how it looks. I know what it looks like, but um, this bobbin table lamp. So I'm gonna go and put that upstairs now. I will catch up with you when my next delivery arrives and go through that with you. And hopefully I'll be looking a bit fresher. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So I've propped you up in the same place again. It's now the next day from when I spoke to you last night and I'm actually getting on with shooting all of the Le Creuset stuff, which is why, I mean, you might not be able to see, but it's literally everywhere, but I am loving it. I didn't realize that I would love having the pops of color and stuff so much. And even though I have decided I'm going to, I'm gonna keep the, large casserole dish out because I love it and I'm also going to keep the mugs but the rest I'm actually going to package up and I'm going to sit I'm going to put it all in my mum's garage and as we're obviously selling the house I know I keep saying this but when you're watching this I'm fairly certain it will be up for sale um yeah I am going to save it all for when we move because I know that I'm going to be very very thankful to have like some nice new stuff that will feel like a massive treat when we move. I don't know if anyone else does that as well but I've just received a package. I don't have a clue what it is. It literally just came in. Oh okay this is really handy. It is spray paints for the radiator. So not a particularly exciting delivery, although I will have one a bit later that's gonna be more exciting. But I've got spray paints mixed up for the, if you can see, focus. I've had spray paints mixed up for the room. So I've got light gray by Farrah and Ball, which is a color we don't actually have, but we've got a very similar one from a brand that I couldn't get a mix spray paint. Um, I've got old white Farron Ball and also Jitney Farron Ball. So I'm going to try and get that done later today, I think. Um, so again, I will show that in a, another vlog. I'm running, making two vlogs alongside each other, trying to be a little bit clever with um, with my schedule so that one of them, as I've mentioned, can be the homeware and like new things that I've got and then another one is going to be doing all of those things. So make sure you watch my next video if you want to see like how the radiators are looking and stuff. I'll show you before and afters and yeah, very, very happy with these. They're amazing. The brand that they're from, what's it called? It says M&P. My spray paints or something, your spray paints, I think it's called. Um, but I get all of our radiator paint from there and it's so easy, you just spray them. And if anyone has, if you have a radiator that you're not sure what to do with, just painting it the same color of the wall makes the biggest difference. We've got quite nice radiators anyway. I'll actually just show you one quickly now. So we have these column radiators, but I have just had them painted or I spray painted them just in the same color and it has a really, really nice finish. It can be wiped. I, yeah, just love them and highly recommend. Whoa, my goodness. I've just eaten the biggest lunch ever. I had a, um, like a tagliatelle, a mushroom and cream tagliatelle that I made for dinner last night and there was loads left. So I stuffed my face, but Carrying on, showing you guys some of the things that I've just bought or have received. 
Um, the first thing, I'm actually making a piece of content with now. So I ordered a flower frog. So anyone who is into like homeware or floristry will know exactly what this is. Um, but you can basically use it to make a Nikibana. Icabana. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's a flower display. You'll be able to see it hopefully on my Instagram or TikTok already. Um, but it's a flower display that stands up like really structurally and um, yeah, I basically didn't have a flower frog. It's what you use to kind of stick the stems into. So yeah, I thought I would invest in one because until now I've been doing the like tape method with any flower displays but I thought this would be more practical so this is from Amazon again I'll link everything in this video below it looks like that and essentially as far as I'm aware you submerge this in water and then you stick the stems onto the spikes and it holds the flowers up so you can kind of create more of a structure with your displays and then I went to a florist and these are the flowers I got. So I got some tulips, some ranunculus, some somethings and some somethings and some somethings and some some I don't know. Don't know what they all are, but I thought the colours were quite pretty. And then I also from Waitrose got these roses, which I thought were really nice. They were eight pounds. And then I also <clears throat> got these hyacinths which I thought would add like a bit of thickness. And I'm also gonna be making a cake and icing that for a piece of content with M&S, so, um, which is for Valentine's Day, so I'm really excited about that. Again, you probably would have seen it by now, but um, yeah, that's why I've got. I've also got a big homeware order that I'm gonna show you in a bit. I'm just gonna get on with making some content for Instagram, and then we'll show you that. Then I'm going to do some work and then tomorrow I've got a few more pieces that I'm picking up from Ochre which I wanted to show you and then I will finish this vlog because I'm sure it's going on and on and on. Okay guys, so I have just finished the cabana thing. I did it with the tape and with the flower frog. I still need to pour the water in but I've got loads of flowers left so I am going to make up a vase of flowers but I'm going to use um, something else to do that. <laughs> Okay, so I've had a quick outfit change because I wanted to be wearing something a bit smarter for my Valentine's content and I'm going to unbox an M&S package that I collected yesterday. So this obviously I work with M&S, um, I'm actually only working with them I think for a couple more months, months, it was a six month contract which I can't believe is nearly up so it's until March so literally a month, six weeks left which is bizarre. Um, and the first thing that I got was this heart shaped chopping board which I thought would be really cute for like croissants and some kind of Valentine's related um, tablescape, so looking forward to using that. I also got a really simple cake slice, this was six pounds, so loved that. I, some of this stuff I bought myself and some I'm working with m and on for Instagram, like I said. Um, oh, I got these two champagne saucers, which have like a really vintage look, and I love drinking out of a saucer, and they were £12.50 for two. Ah, I think these are the side plates that I ordered. Oh, it could actually be a heart-shaped bowl. Yes. So it's a heart-shaped bowl. I think this was, this is £7.50. Again, really nice for like a tablescape for Valentine's Day or any time of the year, um, just to show a little bit of love. Yeah, I really liked that one. Oh, this one I've been quite excited about, actually. I got some cutlery. It's like vintage-looking cutlery, but I thought it was really cute for more like afternoon tea-style things. I will link it below. It's £70. Um, let me actually just take one out and feel how heavy it is. I've needed some new cutlery forever. Oh, cool. No, that's really good. A good weight. It's also not too thick, so it feels light enough that it's easy to eat with, but um, not too light that it feels inexpensive. And it's just got a really, really simple detail there, and it's in a really, really high 
um, polish finish. So yeah, I really love that. And it was £70. I think I actually got a discount on this. £70 for a 24 piece set. So um, yeah, not too shabby. So that's nice. And then these are the side plates, which I've been really looking forward to showing you guys. These are, they're all irregular shapes, but I just thought they were so nice. Don't you think they're really cool? They've got like, well they're obviously a white finish and they've got like a slight, almost like handmade finish to them. And they are really affordable, £19.50 for four, which I think is a good price, less than £5 a plate. And then I think the dinner plates are only a couple of pounds more. So yeah, really, really not bad at all. They need to start being um, better with packaging and just like putting everything back in the right space. Oh, I loved this piece as well. This is five pounds. This is a tea light holder, which I thought would be really nice for a tablescape as well. I'm clearly in the tablescaping mood right now. But yeah, I really, really love that. What else do we have? I think these could be some new mugs. Like I need any more, but if there's an occasion, there will be a mug. Also worth noting, I know I'm doing like a shopping, a specifically um, shopping video, but I actually don't have that much stuff, believe it or not. So I buy very cleverly. I only buy things that I really love. And I also have a cupboard under the stairs, which when we start like moving dogs and stuff, I'll show you myself like unpackaging all of that. But yeah, we've got this cupboard under the stairs where I kind of keep everything that I know I love and will want in the future, but I might not have space for right now. So like I said, all of the Nefrude stuff that you can probably see behind is um, something I'm gonna say for when we move. So I'll get to enjoy it in a few months when hopefully we have a bit of a bigger house. So these I will keep out and use. These are the Emma Bridgewater Love Heart mugs. I think they were around 20 pounds. So not cheap at all, but I thought really nice for like a Valentine's breakfast and also just nice for all year round to be honest i thought they're really cute and i like i said can't resist getting a few mugs every now and again i think they're one of those things that you use a mug every day so you should drink out of a nice one i don't know if anyone else agrees but i my go-to mug so for the last week since i received them i've been using my la Cruze, they're not here because they're in the wash my Le Creuset mugs, the really big ones, for instant coffee or if I want a really big cappuccino. Then the ones I also use a lot, again in the wash, they're the IKEA, like really standard like cappuccino mugs with the salsa. I just think they're a really good shape. And then I thought these would be good for a cup of tea. So yeah, I've got two of those. So really, really happy with those. I'm gonna actually be, um, shooting my content like almost straight after filming this so trying to set set everything aside and neatly and organize so that I can use all of these pieces right away right that's everything from that one and then another big one from M&S we'll open that one I'm hoping there's a cake stand in here and I did order, I did order a cake stand, no not a cake stand, a vase recently, you might remember, and it arrived smashed. So I'm hoping this one isn't because I did do click and collect this time. Um, but yeah, you never really, never really know with these things, do you, until they arrive. That's something I'm finding really, really handy about M&S and Waitrose. Um, and John Lewis as well actually. I use them all the time for click and collect. It's honestly the biggest lifesaver because especially in working from home, I think it's always like assumed that you'll just be in the house all the time, which obviously fellow work from homers, we are not. Oh, look at that for a vase. I love it. I absolutely love this. 
This is such a good price as well, $29.50. It's got like a frill detail, perfect for spring and summer. And I think if you have like a neutral space or a darker space, that would just look kind of perfect anywhere with some tulips in, some roses. I'm gonna put some flowers in mine now for my content as well. So yeah, love, love, love that one. Okay, very well protected, lots of these, which I'm actually gonna try and save a lot of our packaging for ready for when we move. Um, whew, I feel like I was just saying something and I really can't remember what I was talking about. I'm not sure. Hopefully, this is the cake stand. This is really heavy. <laughs> I know that's a weird thing to say, but this feels like a proper cake stand, which I have never had. So I'm really, really quite excited about this. That is lovely. So there's the cake stand. It's just glass, really simple. At the moment, it's actually right here by the camera on the shelf. I've got this small white one, but really nice to have a different, oh, gonna knock the camera. Really nice to have a glass one as well. So yeah, I'm gonna make a cake now and ice it for my content and then we'll ooh, catch up with you guys next time something new or actually tomorrow and then i'm finishing the vlog i promise only a couple more minutes for you guys <laughs> okay so the dishwasher's on so apologies about the noise but i'm going to show you the final couple of things that i've bought in this vlog <laughs> um it's actually a few days later but these branches from ochre that i honestly think look so lifelike you wouldn't even no, they're perfect for spring, summer, winter, maybe not autumn, they look a little bit alive, but um, yeah, I think they look amazing. I've got four of them, they've still got the labels on. I think they're around 12 pounds each, so not the cheapest ever, but again, you keep these for ages, and for us with having house viewings and my work and stuff, is so, so handy to have, so I'm really, really happy with those. They're gonna stay in the kitchen. And then this one was a little more expensive. This was about 70 pounds, but I firstly love the pot. I think the leaves look so realistic. Like I honestly don't think you would know the difference of this. Um, I've had it sat on my console for a few days. I haven't taken the label off yet. I just wanted to make sure I loved it, but it adds such a nice freshness for spring. And yeah, I think it's a really, really good purchase for anyone who, like me, isn't quite the greenest of fingers and often um, will have dead plants around their house. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and round off today's video there, but let me know what your favorite purchase was. I will try and link everything that's still available down below in the description box, but if there's anything else you wanna know where it's from, do let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.